Hello students, today I have a special treat for you. We're going to learn a brand new reaction. Uh, this reaction is called alkene oxidation. And it might be helpful if you can locate a couple of handouts for you. Uh, most of you I gave these handouts for you before we left. This is a handout on alkene oxidation. And there is also a little practice exercises that go with it that look something like this. So if you have those handy, please go ahead and try to find those and grab those out. If you don't happen to have copies of these, uh, if you can find the electronic copies on the Power School and open those up, or if you want to, if you have the ability to print at home, you might actually print out copies of these because uh, we're gonna refer to these in just a minute. So, alkene oxidation uh, is actually a pretty cool reaction. As the name implies, it involves the oxidation of alkenes. And there are a couple things that you want to know about alkene oxidation. First of all, there are many, many, many different types. And the many different types depend on what sort of oxidizing agent that you use. You can use ozone, which is O3. You can use osmium tetroxide. You can use potassium permanganate. We in our class are going to select one particular oxidizing agent and we're going to be using that one, right? So we're going to be using a compound called potassium permanganate. Uh, the potassium ion is just a spectator. This is an ionic compound. The oxidizing, oxidizing part is the permanganate ion, MnO4 with a charge of minus one, right? So this is the only one that we're gonna talk about in our class. Even for potassium permanganate, there are two different flavors <laughs> of potassium permanganate alkene oxidation. And I'm gonna ask you to learn both of them. The first one is in the presence of cold base. So if you use base, uh, sometimes we just write OH minus, of course, to indicate the presence of hydroxide ions. If you use base and keep the reaction pretty cold, the potassium permanganate acts as sort of a weak oxidizing agent. Uh, and what you'll get as a product is some alcohols. Um, and the other type is, if you still use potassium permanganate, but you make it hot and you add some acid. And of course, sometimes we indicate acid by just writing H plus. In hot acid, potassium permanganate is a much more powerful oxidizing agent. Uh, and it can actually um, rip that double bond apart. And that's one of the reasons why alkene oxidation is pretty exciting. Um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of our reactions just alter or change or modify functional groups, right? So you can pull off something and stick something else on. You can uh, create double bonds and remove those double bonds. You can oxidize things and reduce them. Um, but it was only recently that we actually learned how to make new carbon-carbon bonds using uh, Friedel-Crafts reactions and also using Grignard. And that's super exciting because now we can actually assemble our uh, carbon skeleton, make it bigger uh, or change it. If you have a large carbon skeleton though and you wanna break off a piece of it, we haven't learned how to do that yet until today, right? So in alkene oxidation, the hot acid flavor actually allows us to rip molecules apart, right? And that's one of the cool things about this reaction is it can actually break these oops, carbon carbon bonds. And because it can break carbon carbon bonds, it's going to be super useful in our uh, study of organic synthesis. So uh, I'm going to set up for the next part of uh, the video, which is working through a couple of examples uh, for alkene oxidation. So stay tuned for that.